kind of deer one of the most well-liked mammals on earth is the deer. They live all across the world in forests and open spaces and are stunning, graceful creatures. Even some deer species are bold Artless enough to enter towns, which is not advantageous. The two subfamilies that make up their family are made up of several deer species and subspecies. We'll talk about each family first before introducing the eight main types of deer. Enjoy! The Old World Deer subfamily is another name for the Cervinae deer family. Because they only have proximal Musical lateral metacarpals, these deer are also sometimes referred to as plesiometacarpal deer. There are eight genera in this subfamily, and each has a distinct species of deer. One species of tufted deer belongs to the Elephotus genus. There are 12 species in the Muntiacus genus, including the Indian muntjac and the Sumatran muntjac. There are two species of common fallow deer and Persian fallow deer in the Dama genus. There are four species in the Axis general, including the Indian hog deer. There are two extant Artless species and one extinct species in the Rusurvis. One species of Per David's deer belongs to the Elephorus genus. There are four species of Rusa deer, including the Visayan spotted deer. There are five species of service deer, including elk and red deer. This subfamily also contains 14 extinct deer species in addition to these. The Musical New World Deer subfamily or Telemetacarpal deer group or other. Names for the Capriolinae subfamily. The latter illustrates how these deer still possess their distal lateral metacarpal. There are 10 genera in this subfamily, each of which contains a different species of deer. Alsa's genus contains a species known as Musa Eurasian elk Caprialis genus has two species known as Western and Eastern Roe deer Hydropotes genus contains a species known as Water deer One species of caribou or reindeer belongs to the Rangifer or Odicoileus genera. One species of marsh deer belongs to the Hippocamelus or Blastoceras genera. Two species of Taruka and South Andean deer belong to the Hippocamelus or Mazama genera. There are 23 species in the Mazama or Odicoileus genera. Campus deer, a member of the Ozodoceros genus. Northern and Southern Pudu, members of the Pudu genus. In this subfamily, there are nine extinct genera as well. There are currently 17 primary varieties of deer because the two subfamilies described above include eight and nine genera, respectively. Only eight of them, some of the most well-known and well-liked deer worldwide, will be included, though dot are the 12 identified species of deer that make up the genus Muntiacus. These deer are indigenous to South and Southeast Asia, where they have supposedly lived for 15-35 million years. India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Taiwan, Southern China, and the Indonesian islands are home to these deer. Today, Reeves's muntjacs can be found in Japan. and the United Kingdom, rainforests, monsoon forests, and the lower Himalayas are all places where muntjacs can be found. The majority of deer habitats are found around water sources. The only animal in the world with a diploid chromosome number of 6 in the female and 7 in the male, the Indian muntjac subspecies is special. One of the biggest terrestrial mammals in North America is the elk, often known as the wapiti. There are 11 living and 2 extinct subspecies of this deer species, open, deciduous forests, upland moors, boreal forests, grasslands, and mountainous regions are all home to these deer. They can be found throughout North America and Central to Eastern Asia. Elk can grow up to 8 feet 10 inches long from Artless nose to tail and as tall as 4 feet 11 inches at the shoulders. Elk males weigh more and are bigger than females. The species service Elophus, which in turn has roughly 13 subspecies, is referred to as the red deer. The aforementioned American elk was once thought to be a red deer subspecies but was later recognized as a distinct species. These ruminants are the fourth largest deer species still living today. Their dispersion determines their size. For instance, the Carpathian Mountains in Central Europe are home to the largest red deer. However, if we were to talk about averages, we'd say that male red deer can reach lengths of up to 530 pounds and 98 inches without the tail. Red deer females are smaller and can weigh up to 370 pounds. They can grow to be 83 inches long. Their tails may add an additional 4 to 7 inches to the length of their bodies. The Dama genus, which includes the two species Dama mesopotamica and Dama Dama, the European fallow deer goes by the common name, fallow deer, Persian fallow deer. Male European fallow deer are roughly 55 to 63 inches long and 33 to 37 inches tall at the shoulders, whilst females are just little shorter, measuring 51 to 59 inches long and 30 to 33 inches tall. Males can weigh up to 220 pounds, although females rarely do, making men significantly bigger than women. Woodlands including tamarisk, pistachio, and oak trees are 
fallow and red deer are among the Capriolinae, which also includes the moose, white-tailed, roe, and reindeer caribou. All male deer are, both ruminant mammals belonging to the Cervidae family are known as deer or real deer. The muntjac, elk wapiti, red deer, and fallow deer are all members of the Cervidae family. The reindeer caribou, white-tailed deer, roe deer, and moose are all members of the Capriolinae family. Every year, male deer of all species, apart from the water deer and female reindeer grow and shed Music new antlers. They are distinct imagine. from permanently horned antelope in this regard, which belong to a separate family Bovidae within the same order of even toed ungulates. The Cheprotanes tragulidae of tropical African and Asian forests and the musk deer Moshidae of Asia are two distinct families that are also members of the ruminant group Ruminantia, they are not particularly closely linked to the Cervidae. Deer have been depicted in art since Paleolithic cave paintings, and they have long been important symbols in mythology, literature, and religion. Red deer, for example, are depicted in the coat of arms of several countries. Their flesh, known as venison, their soft, durable buckskin, and the usage of their antlers as knife handles all contribute to their economic significance. Since the Middle Ages, deer hunting has been a common pastime and is still a valuable sport for many families today. The meaning of the term deer was initially vague before becoming increasingly defined over time. A wild animal of any type was denoted by the Old and Middle English words der and door. Old High German tier, Old Norse Jur or Doctor, Gothic Dias, Old Saxon Dyer, and Old Frisian Dr are all cognates of Old English door that have the generic sense of animal. By the conclusion of the Middle English era, around 1500, this broader definition was replaced by the contemporary English understanding. With the exception of English and Scots, all contemporary Germanic languages still have the more encompassing meaning. For instance, the words animal and tier in German and DYR in Norwegian both mean an animal. In modern English, the male deer is commonly referred to as a buck and the female as a doe, though the terminology can vary depending on dialect and species size. Red deer males are known as stags, but males of other large species are known as bulls and females as cows, as in cattle. In earlier use, any species male is referred to as a heart, especially if he is over five years old, and any species female is referred to as a hind, especially if she is three years or older. Fawns and calves are the young of small and large animals, respectively, a very small young may be a child. Males with castration are heavier. A herd is a collection of any species. An adjectival deer can be found in a wide range of biomes, from the tundra to the tropical rainforest. Although they are frequently associated with woods, many deer are ecotone species, meaning they inhabit locations where forests, thickets for covered prairies, and savannas meet open space. Around the world, the majority of large deer species live in savanna, tropical seasonal dry forest, mountain mixed conifer forest, and temperate mixed deciduous woodland habitats. By exposing the understory and encouraging the growth of the particular grasses, weeds, and herbs that deer like to eat, clearing open spaces within forests to some extent may actually be beneficial to deer populations. Deer may also benefit from having access to nearby farmlands. For populations to increase and flourish, there must still be enough forest or shrub cover. The Barbary stag, a subspecies of red deer that is restricted to the Atlas Mountains in the northwest of the continent, is the only native deer in Africa. Deer are widely distributed, with native representatives in all continents. With the exception of Antarctica and Australia, Megaceroides algericus, a different extinct species of deer, lived in North Africa up to 6,000 years ago. South Africa has received introductions of fallow deer. With the probable exception of the Indian muntjac, small species of brocket deer, hoods, and muntjacs inhabit deep woods in Central and South America and Asia, respectively. Several deer species are likewise very specialized, inhabiting mountains, meadows, marshes, and wet savannas virtually exclusively, for all five North American deer species white-tailed deer, mule deer, caribou, elk, and moose can be found in the Canadian Rocky Mountain and Columbia Mountain regions between Alberta and British Columbia, which have the highest number of large deer species in temperate North America. On the British Columbia side, Mount Revelstoke National Park, Glacier National Park Canada, Yoho National Park, and Kootenay National Park are among the